Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Teams tutorial. We're going to be talking you through how to get onto Teams with your child right from the very start, so then you can access all the different resources, quizzes, activities, and the um, live phone call every week that you can um, um, that you'll be invited to through Teams. So to start off with, you go onto Google or any other search engine, and you type in Microsoft Teams login or just Microsoft Teams. You'll then get a um, link which says login and Microsoft Teams and you'll be brought to a screen like this. Now, there are two options here. You can download the app. It's a free app, free to use, free to download. So you can download that or if you prefer, you can just sign in using your web browser. You'll then be brought to a screen that looks like a normal kind of email address kind of login system. And here is where you type in your child's email address, which is the uh, which would have been sent to you either via email or you may have received it um, over a phone call. But a quick reminder, it is the year your child's cohort joined the school um, and just the, just the end two numbers. Then it's their first full name and then the first initial of their surname. If your child has a double barrel name, it is their whole double barrel name at thepalmeracademy.com. And then their password is TPA all in capital letters and then their date of birth. So for example, um, today, the date when we're recording this is it'll be the 21-01-21 would be the would be the date of birth of somebody born today. Okay. And then you log in and you will get to the screen that looks like this. So then when you come in, you'll come to your child's year group. So if your child is in year six, it'll be the year six one, but obviously they're in a different year group, it will be a different one. And on here, you'll see where the red buttons are. It tells you any notifications, any new work, any things that have been put up. The general one will be mainly for messages and for invites to meetings that will happen. Meanwhile, the subjects will come either in the English, the foundation subjects, which is like the afternoon, the reading, or the, there's a hidden one there, maths. Remember to check that there isn't any channels hidden because there may be extra ones down there that you can use. So when you click in there, You'll see the posts, which are maybe the activities or messages that the teachers have left. But if you go along the top of the screen, next to posts, there is a button that says files. And in files will be some resources that you can download and use. So these aren't resources that um, are going to be edited or um, done as a quiz or anything like that. But these are just resources that you can use to download and um, used to support your child's learning. So there might be some word maps in there, there might be some um, tips and tricks of how to work and things like that. So they're where you'll find the resources. And now I'm gonna hand over to Miss Thomason who's gonna show you how to access the quizzes and assignments. Okay, so our new element of Teams that children won't have seen before is that teachers are now going to be able to set assignments and quizzes based on our YouTube lessons. So rather than writing on paper and having to send a picture to the year group email, you actually now can complete the work in Teams. It will automatically send it to your teacher who will then automatically be able to mark it and receive feedback. So we're hoping it will be an easier process through Teams. There's a few different ways you can see your assignments. The first is to actually go into your subjects. So if I know that it is maths today, I can go into my maths section and my teacher would have posted my assignment for today. So you can see the different assignments, you can see when they're due in, I can do the same for English, I can do the same in the other subjects. Or from the general page, there is a, a tab that says assignments. When you click on your assignments, you'll see everything that is due for you to do. So if this was in the morning and I had five lessons that day, there may not always be a quiz and assignment for every lesson, but if there is, you would see all of them lined up when they're due, how many points they're worth, and then you can organise your day. The important thing is you still need to watch your lesson by your teacher. Okay, You can't just do the assignment, you will need the lesson to be able to do the assignment. You can still access that through YouTube and they will also be put in those resource file section of Teams. So now I'm going to show you what it will look like when you go into a uh, assignment or a quiz. So I'm going to start with my maths one. I'm going to go in and you'll be able to click my work and this is where you're going to complete your work. This one is a quiz and you need to write the answers and it will tell you what to do at the top. It will tell you the question, tell you how many points it's worth and it will ask you to write your answers in. Sometimes this will be multiple choice questions, sometimes it will be matching questions, 
this one is times tables and I've written in. Once you've checked your work and you may have done some working out on paper, which is absolutely fine, you press submit. This automatically sends it to your teacher. Sometimes the teacher will have set it to mark itself and you can actually view your results. So I can see where I got, uh, went right and where I went wrong. If the teacher didn't set a, a correct answer, you'll just be able to see your answers. So here is an example of one that wasn't set um, right or wrong, because it may have been an open ended problem solving. Uh, and so don't worry if that doesn't come up. OK, there wasn't a right answer. Some of them will be right. And if I had got one wrong, it would show me which ones I had got wrong to make sure that I was able to um, keep working and making those improvements. So at the end, you can just say go back and we're done with that. And that has been sent to your teachers and you can just press close. And it will come up and it will have a little celebration there for handing it in. If you go back to your assignments now, you'll notice that that assignment has gone. You have done that one. If you want to check that it got sent, you can just go check it in your completed and you'll see there my most recently completed is the time tape as well. The ones I've completed in the past, I can even check what I got eight out of 10 on that one. Now I'm going to show you an example of one that is not a quiz. This might be for an English lesson or for a foundation uh, subject lesson. So this is my science work for um, today. Same idea, you would open it up. This time it's a Word document. I'd open up my Word document. Again, after I've watched the lesson, that's really important you still watch your lessons. It might be blank because I'm just writing my own story today, or it might be a worksheet I need to fill out. And this says, can you write a list of six different parts of the human body and their functions? Now I can type directly into this and it will save it as you go along. You don't need to worry about pressing save as, it will automatically do that. So I could start with uh, one part of the body are our legs, and I would write anything I wanted to. Um, these help us move and keep our bodies standing. You can use all the functions of Word. You can change the colors, you can add tables, you can add pictures, you can explore all the things you could do in a normal Word document. And as I said, that is saving as you go which means all you need to do at the end is press close. That hasn't turned it in yet to the teacher because you may want to come back to it. You haven't quite finished it. You had to go have your lunch. You can come back into this and it will once again show you what you were working on. It saved it. You could attach some more work. If you want to attach a video or you want to attach a picture of something you made, you click attach and it will open up your files for you to attach a, a document. If you actually didn't work on that Word document, you made your own Word document, you could just add it in there. When you are definitely sure that you have finished with your assignment, you press turn in. Again, it'll have a little celebration, this time it's a jellyfish, to show that you've signed your work in. If you suddenly panic and think, oh, I forgot to add something, you can undo that, change it and return it in. You can't do that for the quizzes. Once you click done, that one is done. Whereas this one, you can continue. That is completely turned in now to your teacher. And again, I can check it. Here it is on my completed list. Now I only have three things left to do for my day. I go watch my next video on YouTube or on Teams and I complete the assignment. The next stage will be, and you will be notified, is when your teacher marks it and gives you any feedback, it will notify you that you've got something to look at and that will come up um, as a notification so that you know to go check what your teacher said as your feedback. Okay, so we're hoping that using this function will allow students to hand work in more easily. Children can be more independent. They don't need their parents to attach pictures on their phone. They can actually do their work straight into here. Your um, year group will now explain to you how often they're going to be setting work and what it might look like but if ever you're unsure you just click assignments here at the side and you will see everything that you have left to do if you've missed the deadline you don't need to worry you can still do the assignment and it will just say that it's the day after you should have been doing it that's absolutely fine we're not worried at the moment about that but the more you're sending to us the more we're able to uh, celebrate all the work you are doing at home have any further questions, please continue asking your teachers 
the year group email is still active and if you have any problems please do continue using that email but we're hoping all of you now can have an uh, explore using teams and hopefully get really confident in sending in assignments and quizzes so thank you very much for watching any other questions please do let us know